My name is Nick Spur. I'm a teacher at Stillwater Area High School, um, and I've been with the district for three full years. Next year will be my fourth year. The past district I was in in Minnesota had a separation agreement with their superintendent because he plagiarized his doctorate. That I can understand. But for this, I don't know why we are separating from our superintendent. As a newish member of the staff, I'm not scorned by the past. I have seen Superintendent Pontrelli's work over the last three years and how good it has been and how much it has brought the district together. It is unheard of that 81% of teachers, 81% of any staff would sign a petition in support for their boss. And I think that speaks volumes, volumes that five of the school board members didn't hear. Then there was also another petition with thousands of people from the community to give their support as well. And to my personal knowledge, I have not seen any type of petition to the contrary. So it confuses me why our representation would not vote along with the support that they've seen for Superintendent Pontrelli. At this time of COVID, when everything is uncertain, such uncertain, as a teacher, I have no idea what my life is going to be like in a couple months when we resume school year. But to know that our superintendent and assistant superintendent that we've had are not behind those, uh, those changes and those plans is very concerning to me. And I don't know why we would the board would make that choice to do it, to uh, create that separation agreement with our superintendent. I also am not sure why budget-wise we would make the decision to have that separation agreement. When we are in a time where budgets will be cut, stuff will not be part of it. We saw that last year and we're going to see it again this year. Know that every single time you make a cut, that's for that for a program or for something that's supposed to help kids, that you could have made that happen, except you decided to separate from our superintendent and essentially pay for two superintendents for this next school year. While I was at Da Vinci Fest this past year in January, I, as a teacher supporting my students, needed to find out some information. So I went to the person that was at the table checking in students, checking in other people. To my surprise, what I found was Superintendent Pontrelli working that table, sitting down, showing students where to go, talking to students, talking to teachers, talking to the judges that were there. It was so nice to have a conversation with a superintendent that was just pleasant and fun. And when she went around and talked to students about their projects and about what they're doing and showing her support was something I have never experienced from a superintendent before. She, I have one student that is specifically looking at a school safety program. He has won numerous science fairs and was on his way to the international science fair before COVID. She had a wonderful conversation with him to the fact that he then told me about the conversation. I was so excited to know that the superintendent talked to him about his project. And I just don't understand why the school board has such a vengeance against our superintendent. I'm making this video unscripted just to show Superintendent Pontrelli, she will be missed. And she has touched many lives at Stillwater, even in just the few years that I've been there. And I will miss her. 